New research shows an alarming trend for the butterfly population in the U.S. A Binghamton University study found the total amount of butterflies in the country fell by 22 percent over two decades. Let's bring in Eliza Grames. She's an assistant professor of biological sciences at Binghamton University and co-author of the study. Thank you so much for being here. Alarming indeed. Why is this happening? So there are a lot of different drivers of butterfly declines and insect declines in general. Um, in this study, we weren't able to connect drivers to the specific trends for individual species, but there were some patterns that emerged. Um, so one of them is drought. Uh, we were seeing a lot of declines in the southwest, which is, of course, one of the hottest and driest parts of the country and has also been warming up and drying out at really alarming rates. Uh, we also saw a potential signal of climate change in the patterns of um, species that were declining uh, more severely in the southern parts of their range than in the northern parts. And then we also found a signal of insecticides where species in the Midwest are particularly impacted and insecticides are the number one driver of butterfly declines there, more so than agriculture or, um, or direct uh, loss of habitat due to agriculture, or climate change, or any other threats. Wow. Uh, if anyone like me has a toddler at home, they know the importance that butterflies play in just early education. <laughs> Kids love butterflies, but it's also so much more important for just the environment in general. Why is that? What role do butterflies play? Yeah, it's it's like you're saying, everyone's inspired by butterflies. Yeah. They inspire art and literature and poetry. Um, but beyond that, they're really important for ecosystem function and ecosystem services. So they're pollinators for many of our wild plants. Um, as caterpillars, they're really important herbivores. And of course, they're also food for insectivores like birds. When you say pollinators, why should we care about that? Um, so insects are really, really fundamental to pollination um, in terms of providing um, yeah, the pollination services that maintain all of the wildflowers and other plants, um, agricultural crops. Essentially, most of the food that we eat relies on insect pollinators. Mm. All right. So what do you hope that people take away from this? What do we need to be learning in order to either stop or even potentially reverse this trend? Yeah, one of the things that I think is really hopeful when it comes to insect conservation and especially butterflies is that there are little actions that individuals can do that actually do have big impacts on populations and their ability to recover. Most insects are already living on the edge of a knife where they have really high mortality at early life stages. And so small actions that we do to improve habitat that could get them from, say, 97% mortality down to 95% mortality could lead to immediate recoveries. Um, this is things like leaving a sort of a messy yard, leaving a strip of um, lawn unmowed so that there are floral resources, planting native wildflowers in gardens, um, and supporting policies that benefit insect conservation. Those are easy, actionable things. Eliza Grames, thank you so much for joining us.